Hi everybody, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. To kick off the week on Monday, we expect the market to be quiet as traders gear up for the US presidential elections, but there may be some trading opportunities in the euro with the release of the retail sales figures from the eurozone. On Tuesday, the highlight of the week, or maybe even the year, will be the US presidential elections where Hillary Clinton will face Donald Trump. If early polling numbers shows Clinton is headed for victory, we expect the US dollar to strengthen, while if Trump is leading, the American currency is expected to come under pressure. In any case, we expect extreme volatility and trading opportunities with all currencies on this day. On Wednesday, during the Asian session, we'll see the release of the latest Consumer Confidence Index out of Australia from Westpac, which should create some opportunities in the Australian dollar. Also in the Asian session, we'll see CP numbers from China, which should give a clear picture on the state of the world's second largest economy and create some trading opportunities in the Chinese yuan. On Thursday, the focus will again be on the Asian session with the release of consumer expectation figures from Australia. Some say the RBA may start to cut rates again if inflation doesn't pick up, so this news will be closely monitored and we expect volatility in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll see the initial jobless claims figure from the US, which may play an important role on whether the Fed will lift rates in December, and we expect some volatility in trading opportunities in the US dollar. On Friday, the focus will be on the European session with the release of CPI numbers from Germany, which have been on the rise in recent months, and a repeat performance should lend some support to the euro. In the American session, traders will await the release of the Reuters Michigan Consumer Index Sediment Report, which is an indicator of consumer confidence. The figure has risen over the last few months on the back of increased spending, and another strong figure should see the US dollar finish the week on a strong note. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.